This is my after show. It's called after show. Are you ready? I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm in my muggle form. Ah! Because I found out that I was going to Shangela a full half hour before I had to leave the house. I didn't really have time to put makeup on, so uh Everyone's gonna know that I'm a human. I don't like it. Anyway, Shangela was so jinx. You wanna come talk about your auntie Shangi? Okay. There was, okay, so it was an all ages event and there was, I'm, I'm, I'm here, by the way. Claudia is there, yeah. I'm not just talking to an invisible person. Um, it was an all ages event and um, there was a 16 or 15 year old girl there. Yeah. So like, she like yelled out, you know, how many people are this age? How many people are that age? And this like chick yelled out and changed little one over and held her hand and it's like, now, you know that your auntie Shanji, she is beautiful and pure and full of light, but tonight she's going to swear. <laughs> and stuff like that. It was so cute. And there were times that she made a water sports joke, a joke about water sports. She made a water sports joke and went to Montana. She's like, oh, yeah, I mean, like, water skiing and jet skiing and water polo you know and montana was like mm -hmm. hi wayne look at your baby i'm using my a star is born cup it felt appropriate seeing as how she's the star of that movie it was just so fabulous i cannot believe that i got to see the inflatable red dress in person i'm so obsessed with that dress i talked to her about it last time i was like who made that dress i love it i want it yeah. and she did this is me and i was my heart was like about to cry i'm gonna have a christmas brownie made by claudia today I saw Karen from Finance's legs. Yeah. I've never seen her legs before, I'm pretty sure. That's funny. And I've seen her at shows for legitimate years. Longer than Venus has been alive, I've been seeing Karen from Finance at shows. Yeah. I've never seen her legs. She came out and did like a killer Tina Turner. So freaking good. And I also saw... Mikey, Mikey Mugler from the original House of Gaga. Not like original, original, but I'm pretty sure he danced for Gaga in like the fame days. Like he was one of her first male dancers. Oh. And I knew who he was before Shangela said his name because I'm a hardcore little monster. So that's how I fucking do. I was so excited. I'm like, is that Mikey? I'm gonna have to Google his statues. I shoot an uptown fish. It wasn't that long. Who's up to so me? So I give it to you. Get your hands off my crotch. Ow! I mean, as usual, she's had so much energy. Mm. She's on show 170 of 184. Wow. So she's getting there. She's almost, almost done. Now, is this a good idea to dip this into the milk? I'm going to do it. Yalla. So it was part like storytelling and part like lip syncing. I I think she did maybe five or so numbers, mm -hmm. but she took us through the whole of All Stars season three. Amazing. Because she was not robbed, she was burglarized. And um, yeah. And oh my god, her impression of Bibi Zahara Benet. I could watch her do that for years. It was Mother. It was just everything. She did impressions of everyone. She did, oh my gosh, she did this amazing impression of Rue. And she was like, notice how I didn't move the head. She's like, because what you don't see is that there's a bunch of people behind the six people behind Rue holding ropes to keep her face snatched back. <laughs> and she was saying, she's like, you know how she was telling Michelle to stop? With the Miss Vanjie? 
That's because the people back then were like, hold on, really tight. And she's laughing. She ain't never done that before. <laughs> oh my god, it's Tina Turner. Tina Turner's on TV. I mean, Karen from Finance. Uh, and that's like the hair. And that's the hair. Doing. Well, that's. That's like the classic Tina. That's pretty much just Tina's hair. But isn't that like the same sort of Yo, dress? Yo, Tina! Not really. Yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah, it took us through the whole season. It was so funny. Played little bits from the episode. But yeah, did impressions of everyone. Did an impression of Michelle. And like she leant really far forward. And she's like, titties all over the desk. Titties all the way down to Carson. Titties on the desk. And, um, there was, it was really sad though. She said, when the returning queens, so the eliminated queens came back in for the finale episode to be in the background of the video, and first, BB went, they are our backup dancers. And Shenji went, you think I'm your backup dancer? Shut up! She knew. She she just knew that they were gonna do a jury. And she's oh, like, "There's no way. There's no way I'm gonna win if it's a jury." She's like, "I eliminated half of these people in the jury. There's no way." I still can't believe she only got one vote. Yeah, and wasn't it Thorgy? It was Thorgy. And she eliminated Thorgy. Yeah, and Thorgy was so bitter about it. Yeah, and she still is. Do you want to dip it in the milk? Because it's good in the milk. No? Okay. Her energy is so amazing. She was making lots of jokes about Bondi Beach. She's like, I'm Aussie fish tonight. I'm Aussie fish. I think she made a joke about instead of going oi, 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 going oh, oh, oh. I mean, no, I missed, I missed that joke. But yeah, she, I'm Aussie fish. And she had lots of jokes about Bondi Beach. And she's like, I'm sorry I keep bringing that up, but it's the only thing that came up when I Googled Sydney. What queen doing? Venus. You know, she's doing her cat stuff, okay? Leave her alone. It was fabulous. The meet and greet wasn't too pushy. Balloon Boy was there. And it was fabulous. It was, was just... Was it I2D? Yeah, it was I2D. It was just like at the Seymour Theatre. Mm. Theatre, darling. Yeah. It was so fabulous. I just I just adore Shane. Like, she, like, she was speaking at the end and it was so inspirational. And mm. I'm just so thrilled for her that, like, you know, she's on this amazing tour. She's getting this many gigs in one year. And, um... She's just worked so hard. Mm. I just, I really love Shangela. And there wasn't as much Game of Thrones talk as you would have thought. Thank Jesus, because I never watched it. Oh, we're getting down to the thick brownies. She's thick down here, Mama. And she did an imp Alyssa impression. Oh. And she was talking about. She had a lesbian, she said. She said, because lesbians are the best. Hell, like, gave, give her sewing lessons for three weeks straight. Oh, yeah. And still. <laughs> and still, you know, we got what we got on All Stars. No, she was really sweet. Like, people started to boo Trixie. No. And she was like, no. She's like, I adore Trixie. I think she's fabulous. It's a voodoo. You want everyone to get along, right, Voodoo? Voodoo definitely wants everyone to get along. Yeah. She's been taking very good... Ah, poop! After show drinking game, you gotta take a shot. Oh, God, where are the tissues? Okay, good, there. There, there. I'm scared. Tired. I can't even imagine how tired Shangela is, man. Yeah, well... I just, I don't think there's anyone that works as hard as her. Who are you looking for? 
Because oh. Jeannie's the front corner now. Yeah, I know. Okay. Also, it's time. Well, it's ten minutes already. Yeah, ma'am. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll just go to Nina. Okay. Because she's the north. Our new baby Jeannie is going to come say hello. And then I get to go to sleep. And you have to behave yourself back there, Venus. Yep. Come on, baby. Which way are you going to come out? That, no. Neither way. This, way. this way. I mean me. That's Jeannie. Come on, baby. As named after the David Bowie song, Jean Jeannie. And she's very shy. Come on, honey. She likes Face to talk a lot, though. And she only really ever moves for food. So she's pretty much me in mouse form. And Voodoo loves her very much and has been taking very good care of her while she's been settling in with our little sorority. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have anything to say, Wayne? Venus. Hey, Venus. You got anything to say? Do you maybe want to say 